They did not fail us. I was in Vietnam. I was there for about 11 and a half, 12 months. I was in Fubai and Hawaii. Uh, it, it was uh, a combat area. I was injured in Iraq um, from an IED and I spent the next year um, recovering from those injuries. We should not fail them. They helped us with giving to our country and keeping us free. As they had these questions, they didn't know what to do, and one, one gentleman um, uh, thought he couldn't get any, any benefits at all, and, and, and that wasn't probably the right um, interpretation of, of the, the rules he was looking at, and he, he just looked so relieved. It's one of the hardest things that for a military officer or enlisted man or woman to ask for help, uh, and there is a tremendous need for that. And, that's why what the clinic is doing in terms of reaching out to these veterans is so important. And so when a veteran comes to us and finally sees that they have a friend in the process, you can almost see the change in their face right away, not to know that they have somebody on their side. Every day, servicemen and women volunteer to protect and defend our country and our allies all over the world. We ask them to leave their wives, their husbands, their children, and we anxiously wait for the day when we welcome them home. For those who do return home, the wounds and scars of war can change them forever. As a country, we promise that we will take care of them when they return. Our wounded veterans deserve nothing less from the nation indebted to them. He went to his cave of darkness and because he was depressed, felt like he was not taking care of the family because he was unemployed. He hurt all the time. So he just stayed there and, and um, it was almost like a hermit. But there are a host of veterans such as myself who are out there desperately crying constantly fighting to, to, to get someone to heal, what will happen to us? Being a veteran myself, I know how it is to, to work with the VA. I've, I've, I've done my own claim and, and went down that road by myself and it's very difficult and, and you can get to a point where you think that your government or your or the VA is really just doesn't want to do anything for you and you can get really angry and, and uh, frustrated with the process. It's very stressful to go through these claims by yourself. I fought this since I was 42 and I'm going on 62, so it's almost 20 years since I was originally injured. Lewis B. Puller, Jr., Veterans Benefits Clinic at William & Mary Law School, is grateful for the opportunity to play a small part in honoring those who served. As the first law school clinic in the country, assisting with both veterans benefit claims and psychological assessment and treatment. And I'm very appreciative of the level of communications that, that these students are providing and the extensive research they do. The, the legal assistance that we're providing is crucial and also the partnership that the clinics formed with Virginia Commonwealth University's Center for Psychological Services and Development has been tremendous because it allows the clinic students and managing attorneys not only to serve the veterans' legal needs but also to address some of the underlying issues that the veterans may be struggling with. He's, yeah, he's happier, uh, he's not in as much pain, and uh, it's just remarkable the difference from before uh, he went to this clinic to today. I mean, he's, he's like a new person, and otherwise he'd probably still be in that cave of darkness. As I call it. He is just the sweetest man. He's so giving and so caring, and he calls about once a week just to thank me for the progress that I've been making in his case and it just every time I get that phone call from him it just makes my day to be able to hear his voice and 
that he really appreciates what we're doing. And he's been through so many struggles in life. Um, and he's been struggling with the VA to get his benefits for 40 years. It was something that was took a very stressful, hard thing that I was dealing with in terms of my injuries and how they were going to affect me going forward. And it gave me the confidence and an outlet for that from people that were really dealing with a very complicated thing and I was turning all of my information, claims information, over to people that I trusted. How it ended up for me was much better than it would have otherwise because I know if I had done it myself, I would have done it differently because I didn't know the rules. They, they want to help, they need to help, and, and, and the veterans clinic here at the School of William and Mary is it's God sent. Believe me, it's really God sent. And I'm glad my number came up. As I say, as a veteran myself, I, I have a personal stake in the issue. I'm so grateful that as someone who's receiving veterans benefits in the form of the post 9-11 GI Bill, that I have this opportunity to give back. These clients have given their life to our country and they deserve the benefits they're entitled to. And that's what we do here. With your support, we can continue to serve those who sacrificed.